without food and water, right? Same is the case with plants too. Do you know how the water and food getting transferred from the root to the other parts of the plant? Do you know that there are separate tissues responsible for transportation of minerals and water from the soil to all parts of the plant and starch to all other parts? Today, let us learn about these tissues and do an interesting experiment to help us to understand this phenomenon. Let's do it. They give us oxygen, food, fruits, flowers, almost everything. They are the basic link of the, of the huge food chain. Friends, today let's learn about the different parts of the plant. This is the root, the major part, the major part of the plant because it anchors the plant and it also takes in minerals and nutrients from the soil and, and nitrogen also goes through them. When we pour water for a, to a plant, it goes through the roots, then how does it reach the leaves? It's because of stems. How do we know that they transport water, minerals, nutrients, etc. to the leaves? So, today let's do a simple experiment and find out if, if this is really true. For this simple experiment, we just need four things. A white flowering plant, some food coloring, water and a glass tumbler. We need to cut the root of the plant and take the glass tumbler, pour some water in it and put the food coloring. Put as much as you can. It's good if you put lot of food coloring. Wait for one day. And one thing, you need patience. Hmm. Let's do it. So friends, I have cut the root of this plant. And now we need to add water. Okay. Now let's put some food color in. The more you add, the better color you get. insert this plant in here for about one day by doing this experiment we will understand that if the water really grows goes through from the stem to all parts of the plant so let's wait for one day friends now let's see how a flower is can see the color in the flower changed. So there is something which takes the water from the stem of the plant. The name of the tissue which takes the water is xylem. As you see here, xylem has a capillary action that means it can take water from down. Xylem is like hollow pipes. Xylem is, xylem is the tissue which is responsible for transporting water through the stem to different parts of the plant. Do you know the tissue which carries starch which is made during photosynthesis from the leaves to the other parts of the plant? Yes, it is phloem. Xylem carries water and nutrients while the phloem carries 
the food. Friends, let us quickly summarize what we have learned today. We learned about the plant and its important tissues, xylem, which transports water from roots to all other parts, phloem, which transports food from leaves to other parts of the plant. We also have done a, one simple experiment to prove how xylem works by placing a flower in the colored water and we observe the color change in the flower after one day. This proves that the water transportation system in plants. I hope you like this experiment. Please try this experiment at home. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe my channel and click the bell button for, for getting more notifications when I make new videos like this. Thank you. Bye-bye.